Hello and welcome to New Journeys Counselling Channel and thank you for tuning in. So this video is to talk about an issue, an issue that doesn't really get a lot of attention um, and as a counsellor what I've started doing is to really start to think about the fact that I've got this opportunity to make videos and I'd like to come and make videos about some of the issues that don't necessarily get as much attention or as much um, support. So as a counsellor, I just wanted to be able to do this. So this week, um, I saw a story on MSN, Microsoft News, and it was about a young um, person who, they were born as um, a girl, but they wanted to transition to become a little boy. I think they were around about 13, 14 years old. Now, transgender and identity issues don't necessarily get as much of an understanding or support from society in general, but I was really moved by this particular story because the young person, I think, as I said, was around about 13, 14. They'd made a decision that they no longer wanted to live their life as a girl. Um, they wanted to um, use a boy's name, they wanted to dress as a boy, and they wanted everyone to regard them as being a boy. Now, the, this person's family felt um, confused and found it difficult to deal with this. So they booked this young person into an institution that was supposed to help. And from what I've read, um, the staff at that particular institution disregarded the young person's wishes and they wouldn't refer to them as a boy. They wouldn't, um, you know, accept that this is what the young person wanted. And as a result, the young person committed suicide. Now, I won't give like, too many details about the story. Obviously, if it was on MSN, a lot of people would have already read about this. Um, but it's currently under investigation. But what I really wanted to talk about was the lack of empathy and support towards this particular issue. Now, as a woman, um, I, I was born a woman, I dress as a woman, I've got a woman's name. I can't actually imagine the psychological trauma that someone must feel if they felt that they wasn't in the right body. So if every day of my life I felt like I was really a man, and I was supposed to be a man, and I didn't feel like a woman at all, it was just, you know, it, the impact that it has isn't just psychological, it's just whole, you know, everything to do with your identity, really, because your gender isn't just, you know, a name, boy, girl, you know, whatever... Um, what you want to call yourselves, it's not, it's, it's embodied in everything, you know, it's all about everything from where you use the bathroom, you know, you have to use the women's bathroom, the clothes that you wear, um, you know, your, how you're regarded by other people, your name, you know, the things you kind of, there's so many restrictions and so many titles and so much um, pressure on people to, you know, fit into these categories. So when you have someone who's brave and courageous enough to say, you know, I no longer want to live like this, I actually was born as a certain gender, but I want to change that, then to me I think that it's very brave because it's not always accepted by society. So, as I said, I just want to sort of raise more, um, do more videos along these lines, because as a counsellor I may, you know, one day be counselling someone who's in this position, but also just as a human being really, really resonated with me because for this person to actually commit suicide because they just didn't feel they could continue to live in a certain way, but also because of the, possibly due to some of the reactions and responses from the adults around them, I think it's really sad. So all I'd like to say is that I hope you found this information useful. I'll be doing plenty of videos. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Please um, share this video if you find it useful to other people. And continue to watch. And thank you for your support. Bye.